So we would like to welcome Elisa Fromont from Saint Etienne University, France, which is a junior professor working in machine learning, data mining, and computer vision. So Elisa, can you tell us a little bit more about yourself and your work? Um, so thank you for inviting me. Um, so I've been um, recruited in Saint Etienne four years ago. And before I was a postdoc um, in uh, Leuven in a machine learning team in Belgium. And I did my thesis um, somewhere else in France, so I moved quite a lot. And when I arrived in Saint Etienne, I arrived in um, a computer science and um, vision, computer vision department, uh, who the, uh, both were done. And then I started to work on uh, machine learning and data mining applied to computer vision problems. So um, I'm est especially interested in um, building new features, for example, to do image classification using, uh, for example, data mining techniques, so sequence mining, pattern mining, or um, I'm also working on uh, um, using machine learning techniques to, to, to learn uh, interesting model uh, for, uh, for computer vision. Or I can also, at the moment, I'm working on tracking objects in videos using uh, pattern mining techniques. So, well, whatever is, is uh, in the crossroad of machine learning, data mining, and computer vision. Okay, great. So what first got you interested in scientific career and in this particular research area? I think uh, computer science is uh, fun. So I, I'm, I'm, I've always seen it and I keep uh, seeing it as a game. So I think during the studies, all like algorithmic problems, I've always seen it that puzzle game. You have, um, you have a solution, you have to find it as quickly, as efficiently as possible. You have to go from point A to point B. It's, yeah, I don't know, I've, I, I really think it's fun. And now that I'm working in the computer vision field, it's e even better because I really see the result of what I'm doing. I really see how it improves the fields or not, but I, I really, well, I'm able to apply what I've uh, learned all those years bef before and really help the field. So I think it's, it's nice. Okay, nice, sir. Uh, um, if you were to give advice to a younger person who is deciding for t whether to go for scientific career or not, what do you think is important to say? I, I don't know. I think it's an exciting career. I'm, I'm doing very different things um, all day long. I, I have a lot of liberty on, uh, in what I want to uh, search for. And um, so I think it's, it's well, I, I think it's the best job I could have done. And I really advise it <laughs> to, uh, to, to young people. So you, uh, you seem very enthusiastic, which is very nice. Uh, but if someone would ask you, what is your typical day? What does it mean? Ah. What, what is that you are very enthusiastic about? And maybe what is that you are less enthusiastic about? OK, so first I'm, I'm a mother of two young kids, uh, which are two and four. So um, I have a quite busy day, um, which start quite early, like 6.30. But um, let's say that uh, from 8.30 to 6.30, I'm at work. And then there I'm doing a lot of different things. So I'm teaching um, a lot. Well, a lot. I'm teaching uh, on average five hours a week, uh, plus everything I have to do. So, and I'm taking care of my students. So I'm responsible of a master, a, first, uh, a year of master. So I'm taking care of everything that goes wrong with the students. And, a lot goes wrong, but I like the interaction uh, with the students a lot. And then um, I have all the, the PhD student, the master student, all people that are coming and going in the lab that I'm taking care of or that I'm just trying to work with, which is a lot of, uh, well, on the, on the bad side, it's a lot of changing subjects. On the good side, you're never bored. <laughs> and. Um, yeah, well, it's just that um, everything I do, I think I, I love it. Well, maybe I love less all the administrative part where I have to, uh, um, I don't know, do the agenda of the students or, 
or uh, make sure that um, they find a good internship or uh, make sure that uh, they're doing their work or things like that. This maybe I'll, I like less, but even looking for money, which is um, a big part of our job now, is interesting because, well, it forces you to think a bit ahead what you're going to do, what, what's, what's your plan for the next uh, uh, year or the next month. So I think it's interesting. So, uh, at present, most of the researchers in your area are men. Um, as a woman working in this area, have you encountered any difficulties or any opportunities or something special connected to that? Oh. Well, so I, I heard some other conversation about that. I think there's only opportunities right now for women. So, we are so few, especially in computer science, then Every time um, people have to choose between a man and a woman on the same level. So I'm not talking about the fact that the women are less good or even better, but just on the same level, the woman will always be picked. So it's, it's always an opportunity. Um, well, I've experienced that all the time. So it's good. I think, I think women should come. <laughs> there are a lot of opportunities. Sounds good. Um, so what evolutions do you see for you as a person and for your field as a whole in mm. the future? Well, my career is at the beginning, so there are things to do. So in France, uh, I think it's the same in Germany, we have to do another thesis, which is called habilitation, if we want to become a full professor. So that's the short term plan in the next years. But uh, I just want to keep doing what I'm doing at the moment. and try not to increase the administrative uh, load <laughs> as much as possible. <laughs> but, uh, but no, I, I, I really wanted to stay like that if it's possible. Sounds like a good plan. <laughs> I hope you'll manage especially yeah. for this administrative yeah. one, which usually, in my experience, is it doesn't really <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. go that way. But anyway, thank you so much for being with us. Bye. Great, thank you.